Hello everyone, welcome to placement buddies. So in this video, we will discuss some quantitative aptitude questions that has actually came in one of the LTI drives. Since LTI conducts their drive on MCAT platform, so those who are preparing for LTI online test or any other MCAT test, for them this video will be very very beneficial. So let's get started. So the first question is, if 5 men take an hour to dig a ditch, then how long should 12 men take to dig a ditch of the same type? The options are 25 minute, 30 minute, 28 minute and 20 minute. So I am giving you 5 seconds to solve this problem. Okay. So those who have solved this problem, they can comment the answer in the comment section. Now those who haven't solved this problem, for them I am showing the solution. Okay. So 5 men take 60 minutes to dig a ditch, that is 1 hour, that is mentioned in the question. So let 12 men will take x minute to dig the ditch of the same type. Okay. Since the ditch is of the same type, so we can say 5 into 60 will be equal to 12 into x. So now from that equation, we can get the value of x that is 25. So 25 is the correct answer. Next question is, a farmer traveled a distance of 61 km in 9 hours. He traveled partly on foot at 4 km per hour and partly on bicycle at 9 km per hour. The distance traveled on foot is 14 km, 15 km, 16 km or 12 km. Your time starts now. Okay, so now let me show you the solution. Let the distance traveled on foot be x kilometer. So since the total distance is 61 kilometer, distance traveled on bicycle will be 61 minus x kilometer. Therefore, x by foot plus 61 minus x divided by 9 is equal to 9. Now how that equation came? We know that if we divide distance by speed, we will get time, right? So if we divide x by 4, we will get the time traveled by foot. And if we divide the distance traveled on bicycle, that is 61 minus x kilometer by the speed, that is 9 kilometer per hour, we will get the time he traveled on bicycle. If we add both the time, we will get the total time that is 9 hours that is mentioned in the question. So from that equation, x will be 16 km. So 16 is the correct answer. The next question is, which of the given option is the most suitable for completing the following series? The series is 165, 195, 255, 285, 345. The next digit will be what? 375, 420. 435 or 380. Your time starts now. So now we can see the difference between the first two number is 30. The difference between 195 and 165 is 30. The difference between second and third number is 60. It is the difference between 255 and 195 is 60. Again, the difference between 285 and 255 is 30. And the difference between 345 and 285 is 60. So now, can you guess the series? Yes, you are right. The series is, the difference is changing like 30, 60, 30, 60, in 30. So next, the difference between the 6th and 5th number will be 30. So what will be the answer? So the answer will be 345 plus 30 is equal to 375. The next question is Nikki has to travel a total of 351 miles. She travels the first 216 miles in 4 hours. Her average speed is the same for the whole of her journey. How long does the whole journey take? 6 hours, 7 hours, 6.5 hours or none of this. Okay. So let me show you the result. Since Nikki's average speed is same for the whole journey, so we have to find her average speed. So Nikki's average speed is 216 miles divided by 4 hours. That is if we divide distance by time, we will get the speed. So the speed is 54 mile per hour. Now Nikki does the whole journey in 51 miles divided by 54 mile per hour. 
as I mentioned in the previous slide that if we divide distance by speed we will get the time so the total time is 6.5 hours so 6.5 is the correct answer and who has got the answer correctly quickly comment below so the next question is the revenue generated by an auto parts manufacturing company for a financial year is 30 lakhs and the total expenses for the company was 20 lakhs find the profit percentage of the company for the financial year mentioned the options are 25 percent 20 percent 30 percent or 50 percent so as given in the question the revenue generated by the company by selling all their products is 30 lakhs that is selling price is 30 lakhs and the total expenses for the company was 20 lakhs so what is the formula of the profit so profit percentage is selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100 percent so put all the data in the formula and your answer will be 50 percent the next question is which of the given option is the most suitable for completing the following series and the series is 3 6 18 72 and what the options are 144 216 288 360 and your time starts now okay so let me show you the solution so we can write 3 into 2 is equal to 6 6 into 3 is equal to 18 18 into 4 is equal to 72 so have you noticed all the multipliers in all the multiplication the multipliers are 2 3 4 that is all the multipliers are in AP series so what will be the next multiplier can you guess the next multiplier will be obviously 5 so 72 into 5 is equal to 360 so 360 is the correct answer the next question is if the age of a father is 5 years more than the age of his wife that is the mother obviously who is 50 years old what is the age of his son who is 25 years younger to him the options are 30 years 35 years 25 years and 40 years so you can try to solve the question i will give you 5 seconds and your time starts now okay so let me solve it guys the mother's age is 50 years since the father is 5 years older than the mother so the father's age will be 55 years now since it's very easy since son is 25 years younger to the father so son's age will be 55 minus 25 is equal to 30 next question is an amount of work can be completed by 24 men working 8 hours a day in 10 days how many men with the same efficiency are required to complete the same work in 6 days working 10 hours a day and the options are 30, 32, 34 and 36 so same type of question repeated guys I think you should solve this question I will give you 5 seconds and your time starts now ok so I think many of you guys have solved this question so if you guys have already solved this question comment your answer in the comment box and those who could not able to solve this question for them I will solve it no problem so the work was finished by 24 men as given in the question in 10 days working 8 hours a day ok so the total man hours to complete the work will be 24 into 10 into 8 man hours that is 1920 man hours manpower required to finish the work in 6 days working 10 hours a day will be can anyone guess ok so it will be 1920 divided by 6 into 10 very easy and the answer is 32 so the next question is oh it's a very easy the ratio of present ages of a b and c is 3 is to 4 is to 5 10 years ago the sum of their ages was 54 years what is the present age of b 28 years 35 years 40 years and 24 years so i guess many of you can solve this question guys so without wasting any time for those who cannot solve this question i am solving it present age of a is 3x let 3x b is 4x and c is 5x according to the question 
3x minus 10. That is 10 years ago, the sum of their ages. 3x minus 10 plus 4x minus 10 plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 54. So from that equation, x equal to 7. So the present age of b was 4x. So 4 into 7, that is 28 years. The next question is, the percentage profit earned by selling a pair of earphones for 1800 rupees is equal to the percentage loss incurred by selling the same article for 1200. At what price should the pair of earphones be sold to make 50% profit? The options are 2400, 2250, 2500 and 1950. So you can try this question guys, I am giving you 5 seconds. Okay, so first what we need, we need the cost price to know that at what price it should be sold to make 50%. If we don't know the cost price, how can we know the profit percentage? So we have to find the cost price. So let the cost price is X. Now according to the question since profit is equal to loss, the profit percentage equal to the loss percentage. So we can write this profit percentage equal to loss percentage. So from this equation, we can get the X is 1500. So now that we know the cost price, we can easily crack the selling price. So at 50% profit, the selling price will be. This is the formula of finding the selling price, guys. The formula is cost price into 1 plus gain percentage divided by 100 is equal to selling price. So putting all the data in the formula, we can get this equation. And from this equation, we can get the selling price. The selling price is 2250. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. चैनल को अगर पहली बार विजिट कर रहे हो तो चैनल को जरूर से सब्सक्राइब करना और बेल आइकन का प्रेस करके ऑल नोटिफिकेशन ऑन कर देना ओके okay?